going on guys? This is Andrew from Shark Hub. I want to talk to you about some of the stuff I use for sharking. Uh, first I want to talk about the rod. What I use is a 12 foot Ocean Master heavy action. This bad boy has taken a beat. I mean, best rod I've ever used. Um, it's rated for 12 ounces. You got heavy action. You know, you can go right on Bass Pro's website and uh, order it up. This thing's like a broomstick. You got to heave out a huge chunk of bait. Holds eight and bait all day. You throw eight ounces and bait, no problem. This rod's solid. You know, caught my personal best on this rod. You know, quality rod. You know, you ain't gonna find anything better for 189 bucks. I'm telling you. Um, second, I want to talk about Pen Slammer. Pen Slammer three. 10,500. This bad boy has got like 60 pounds of drag. Like a clock. This bad boy is solid. I mean, heavy construction. You know, I mean, it feels a little heavy on the rod, but you know, when you're sharking, it's not like you're plugging or something. You know, I mean, once you heave it out there, it's out there. This thing's solid. I mean, you know, I use 80 pound braid on this bad boy with a super knot. That shark ain't getting off once it gets hooked, unless you got, you know, I don't know, probably like a 12 foot great white or something. Um, yeah. Can't say enough about this reel. It, it, it is really good. I, I, I got it on Amazon for like, I don't know, 280 bucks uh, on sale. My, my girl got it for me. It was, I think it was Christmas. Yeah, Christmas present. Best Christmas present I ever got. <coughs> Second, or third, I'm sorry, third, I want to talk about lighting on the beach because that is important. <coughs> Excuse me. While we're, you know, taking out the hooks or trying to land the big ass shark. Um, advanced lighting system makes a solid light it's got you know controls on the back you know it's also got bluetooth controls you can tr control everything from your phone which is awesome when you got the gopro app up and the als app you can you know crank up the light to 6000 lumens you know and and hit record on your gopro and you're 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 in business you know what i mean so this is great light. I took this out for the first time last weekend, and I gotta tell you, it lit up the whole beach. I mean, you know, a lot of guys say, you know, you don't want light on the beach. That's fine. As long as you keep it off the water, you know, you're fine. I, I tilted it to the side and back, and then when, you know, if we got a fish on, then I'd crank it over to where we're trying to land it, you know? But ALS, you get this from Northern Tool, dot com this thing is badass you got to check it out um great light i was using a light from uh lowe's this is my light from lowe's it was bright you know you can see it's lighting up my whole fishing closet there this light was great um this one's like 50 bucks got this at lowe's i believe it's like a Utilitech or something. I, I took it apart and siliconed it all the way around because when you're you know when you're fishing you might drop it in the water or something, and uh, you know kind of made it a little more resistant to water. Um, last but not least, I want to talk about power bank. Like if you do a lot of Facebook live videos, got this thing from Harbor Freight Armstrong. Armstrong makes it, I think it's 10,000 milliamp or something like that. Uh, anyway, 20 bucks. Ran Facebook Live and kept my phone charged for like six hours straight. And it still was only down like one bar when I was done. 
I might have a full battery on my phone. So this thing, this thing I was impressed with. I was shocked that it lasted as long as it did. Um, I use a GoPro Hero 4 for videoing. Um, you know, you got my, I got my, uh, grab this GoPro off here for a second. I got a rucksack full of rigs in here. You know, that's what I use for that. That's all my freshwater stuff, but what we got here, rig stuff, rig wise. Let's see. So this is my, you know, my rig, rig book. This is like my Bible. And in here, I got a rig here, a shark rig I make. I use Big River Cat hooks. Yeah, they're not circle hooks, but you know what? They hold a chunk of bunker perfectly. And you got plenty of hook afterwards. So I use that and like 175 pound steel leader crimped you know and then I, I do a bit of a shock leader because the braid the braid and the uh, steel don't stretch so if you got a shark that's thumping around head shaking like crazy you know you want a little bit of stretch in there you know a lot of the guys do shock leaders all the way down and then they got a knot that they got to cast through their eyes and you know I don't kayak baits out too often I just cast, but I, I still want a little bit of stretch in my line. I do that, you know, I crimp it all in there nice with some heavy, huge swivels that are like, I don't know, like 700 pound test or some shit. But, uh, you know, the big river cat hooks work, you know, great for the, you know, the big browns down on the beach. And I, I've never, I, I've gut hooked one fish in the last three here, three years, so. You know, I get it. You know, the, the circle hooks cook them in the corner, and but I, I just lose too many fish on circle hooks. I, I'm just so used to J hooks and having to set in the hook that I can't get over letting the fish run for that long. But you know, maybe I'll switch over. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Maybe next video I'll show you how to tie a super knot. But I'm telling you, tie that super Berkeley super knot. And that will make, you know, because I, I was down the Keys in 2016, and, man, these big sharks were snapping the braid, like, left and right. And I tried that, that knot, and it, it totally changed my whole trip, man, and saved, and I, I caught a lot of nice lemon sharks that were, like, six and a half feet long, and, you know, right under a bridge. It was sweet. So, I'm telling you, I will never go back to a regular braid knot after that, but, uh... Yeah, next you know next time I'll show you how to tie that. But uh, thanks for checking out the video. Talk to you later.